Hello and welcome to this real-time demo. We're going to do the cityscape today. It is a part of Bath, which is in the southwest of England. Um, I live about 50 minutes away from here. So I took this reference photograph hanging out of the driver's seat of the car to catch a moment. Not, not really recommended that you do that. But um, so the, the picture was all skew and colors weren't great. So I've made quite a few changes. Uh, unfortunately, I need to get more fancy fancy with my camera. Um, the colors in the sky are a lot more saturated in real life. It's kind of blowing it out on the camera there. Anyway, what am I trying to say? I'm just using the photo as reference. So I made changes. I took out a few cards, which you'll see because I'll um, put up the actual reference photograph. Right, what am I working on? I am working on the Sennelier Pastel Le Carte paper. This is the smallest pad they do. It's 16 centimeters by 24 centimeters. You can go as big as you want or even smaller if you really wanted to. Um, but then you would struggle more with details. So you can work on any any pastel paper you've got, you know, pastel mat, you are Tim Fisher, um, Lux Archival. You'll also need some soft pastels. I'm just showing you these are the half sticks by Sennelier. Um, I find them really handy. They've got a good color selection and I use quite a few of the colors in here for this actual piece but I shall link everything in the description below. Also a few pastel pencils. Um, I've got here just Karen Dash and the Carver Thelos. Um, you can use any pastel pencil that you have. And my beauties. Oh, the Creta Color Hard Pastels, amazing. I use them in every piece, whether it's a still life, like the one I'm busy with behind me. The Cityscape, I use them. I use them in pet portraits, um, animals, landscapes, whatever. I love the sharp lines that you can get. And they also, okay, they're all missing right now. I don't know where they are, but they've got a whole range of really dark browns. And I always find, I can't quite find a dark enough um, pastel pencil. It's either black or it's dark brown that isn't kind of dark enough. And these come out chumps for me. So I love that. Anyway, let's get into this real-time demo. Okay, so I took this photograph while I was hanging out the window. I went to Bath specifically to take some photographs um, because it's got such beautiful buildings. And um, of course the sun wasn't shining all day until I was leaving, right? So I'm stuck in traffic and I thought, ooh, sun's come out. Let me quickly take this photograph. So the idea with this is I'm wanting to create a blue sky with a bit of an orange yellowy glow more down towards the horizon. And I'm really wanting to um, amp up the shade with violets and purples and then the sunlit areas of the building with beautiful oranges. So to start with, I thought, seeing as we're working on Sennelier Le Carte, so this is 18 centimeters by 23 centimeters, I think. It's the smallest pack of Sennelier Le Carte you can get. I thought, let's um, crack open our pastels. I've got these, but I suspect I'm definitely going to have to bring in Oh, maybe I, we are some purples from unison probably but let's see how we go also the I need to change the perspective of these little windows so that they are slightly not massively narrowing down the more they get to here because if you look at the reference photograph can you see how I've kind of drawn my eye line so let's call that the horizon my eye level view is about here and um, the reason I'm putting it over here is I can see the top of this but I can't really see the top of the actual balcony part here I can't really see the top of this walkway here but I can see the top of this so I'm gonna just put it there that's my reasoning very um scientific 
but I've also been trying to work out the perspective because when I look at this they look like the same size but actually everything is slightly slanting so let's see how we go this might be a disaster or it might work so yes let's let's go in play around this is something unusual for me I've done a house before I've had a commission to do a cottage so I've done that but I've never done a cityscape oh dear my thing didn't save that's annoying yes save it okay pop lot to pop pop right getting my image up uh, da, 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 da. Shall we go in with this blue? So as I said, this is just from the Sennelier set. Oh, that's very... Uh, hmm. Let's go a bit of this ultramarine -y sort of colour. Just at the top here. Scuffle, scuffle, scuffle. And I am seeing that definitely I don't have let's rub that in I don't have light enough colors Whew, that is like happy sunshine sky um, let's see what is this one like down here mm, this is me playing nah, probably wanting something what is this color here? Just cleaning it off. Yeah, that's that's. I'm gonna have to draw this lamp back in. As I said, I'm just using the blues, seeing what I can get from the set. I'm wanting to create that very late, um, early evening kind of vibe. Yeah, I think that's kind of working quite nicely, actually. Just too much of a line here. I haven't worked on this paper for a while. I'm like, oh, forgot about you. Really don't want any harsh lines in the sky. So really giving that a good rub into the paper. Also, I don't want it to go too green. Um, I'm going to put a bit more of this. Oh, can you see that was dirty? Whoops. A bit more there. Just for interest. Okay, okay. Coming back over G. This paper really chows your pastels more than pastel mat, that's for sure. Look at that, the whole side of that pastel's just gone. Right. Okay, I have no real idea what I'm doing well, I, because these details are really small and I don't want to be using pastel pencils necessarily. I am definitely wanting to stick with just the pastel sticks. Stick with the pastel sticks. I'm going to bring in a little bit of the Sennelier portrait set for some more browns. We've got great ochre browns in the other set, but I'm needing a little bit of a variety of browns. So let's go in with this roof here. The 
this bronze actually got a bit of a kind of greeniness to it ish mm, that's I'm needing something actually with a bit more gray so I'm going to just take a little bit of this gray and put that over but this gray now has got purple in it but let's smudge it in and see what happens <laughs> trying to decide how am I going to go about this I think I'm because of this so I'm working on such a small scale I think I'm definitely going to have to bring in pastel pencils but I'm not exactly happy with the color of this stone that's going in the light okay on screen it's looking rather more muted but in real life this is actually quite brighter and this is like an aqua turquoise sort of color I just wanted to show you this book painting essentials by Greg Krutz probably said that wrong but I really really love this book he covers all subjects from still lives to landscapes but I just wanted to show you this is kind of the painting that was influencing me see how it's got these beautiful violets in the shadow mauve and violet and then you've got violets here in the shadow with this beautiful soft orange glow that's exactly what I was wanting to do um, with this piece but looking at this at the moment I'm loving the sky but it looks very much more like dawn like yeah with quite a bit of green because obviously when you mix blue and yellow you get green so if you bring in a blue that's got more purple in it will make and you mix them together the yellow with the blue violet blue it's going to make more of a gray tone than a green tone okay because the blue violet has got the purple in and the opposite of yellow is purple and they neutralize each other but i'm really loving the sky and i don't really I'm just kind of thinking what to do I could make this more because um, what I'm trying to say is if I'm going with the glowing warm these aren't going to be glowing warm that's like afternoon sun do, do you see what I'm saying oh don't know because I'm not following necessarily maybe I should just follow the color but then the sky wouldn't make sense and I really love the sky all right this is how you listen to me chin your yab about how I'm going to do things and I still don't really know how I'm going to do things but how about I worry about that later fine let's just get some of this these buildings in I have decided because I'm doing such precise shapes here um, I just have to use Um, a pastel pencil I think there was no way getting around that so I'm just drawing and you can see a tiny bit this is where all of those cue practices you did in school this is where <laughs> they come in handy you know those cubes you hated doing or maybe you love doing them I hated doing them um, but this this now I know why you want to build if you want to paint buildings really useful uh, and I'm not gonna be I just want to get more of an impression uh, no impressions the wrong word I want to get I don't want to get every single detail in you know I, I want to get a feel of oh this is a pretty historic town that that's the kind of feel with oh look how lovely this warm light is that's kind of what I'm going for rather than um, all the details that's a cast shadow that I'm busy drawing onto there this by the way is 175 by Faber Castell it's a pit pencil pit pastel pencil oh my gosh tongue twisting mode um, 
in the sepia color I like this brown it's really dark it's like almost black so lines are gonna be a little bit skew and we're not going for perfection okay I'm just saying that right off the bat watch and then comes me later on and I'm like this line skew I need to change that oh I don't like this skew line but I'm trying to not be a little bit more loose I suppose right little pencil guy not pencil guy what am I talking about oh I'm not quite sure what to do here you know what I need is a mall stick I used to have one and I don't know what I've done with it you know that will help steady my hand because I think that's quite important for buildings you know but I'm just going to have to just wing it a little bit So I'm just trying to draw in all these windows, all these windows here, one here, one here. perspective that's what I'm worrying about here because the my camera was skew right I was like Row, just hanging out my window so, so and also cameras can change things like it's not a, like perspective so I think I'm just going to get my ruler. I don't think they should be straight. I'm just trying to decide. Am I going to draw them straight like we're looking straight on? Or shall I make them um, at a bit of an angle? That is what I'm trying to decide now. Now I'm trying to look for my ruler. Oh. You know, I kind of wish I was there painting it rather than looking at my squiffy picture. Hmm. Let's see if we do this a little bit. Three, one, two a bit bigger than down here three one two three next one is two one two next one is three one so these are the under parts of the windows so my vanishing point is going to be off the page then you move that up just a little bit like that mm, that's too harsh because look at the my lines that's not gonna work because my lines here are straight aren't they the roof lines are straight so that's gonna be weird having straight roof lines I tell you what we're just gonna have to do this aren't we we are just gonna do it straight that's what we're gonna do has to be straight and so I'm kind of gonna but then there's definitely see these are all sitting behind so this one must be lower this one is low and this one's a little bit higher so 
See, I don't draw buildings, so I have no idea what I'm really doing in terms of the perspective. And like I said, my photograph doesn't help because it's all skew, which really doesn't help. Um, but hey ho, that's what we got to work with. So there we go. Some writing here, which is quite cool. These windows. Mm, could always be a bit fatter. I'm not going to go for perfection, as you can see. I should have mind if it's a little bit quirky and squiffy. I'm hoping um, the painting will still work as a whole and hopefully it will turn out quite nice but we will have to see. So I'm just getting in these windows there'll be a window here I'm not going to put in this traffic light or robot, as we say in South Africa. I don't know what they say in the States. Okay, here's our next. A lot of windows. Um, not sure how I feel about that. Just hope up. That's a bit too skew. I hope we can have something that looks cute and quirky, is what I'm hoping. Okay, so there's a door here, and I want this to look like a door, not a window. So, how am I going to do that? I guess like that. And there's two windows next to this door. And I'm thinking, why am I doing all of this? Because I'm now going to, I should have done, oh. Well, let's see what, okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. And I, let's get these roof tops in. Okay, so it's kind of dark here. And it slopes, definitely slopes. Look, you can see that in the roof. So it's going to be weird. Um, I know my perspective is going to be all wonky and off here because I've got a sloping roof because you can see the side of this chimney. This one you can't see the side of, really. This one a little bit more more and even more. So there's definitely perspective going on here um, that i am got to kind of mimic, I suppose. Let's, okay, let's do these a little bit. Um, slanted. Good golly, Miss Molly. Okay. It's amazing. This is much brighter in real life. This is like aqua blue and glaring yellow like a lemony yellow and on the screen it's just so muted it's actually yeah it's much brighter in real life right this roof up here i'm going to take this art spectrum extra soft gray it's called cool gray 
and I'm gonna see how I like it over here this roof looks pretty grey compared to the others the others are more grey down here And then it's, it's actually more brown in there. Now let's find a good color. BE27. Should we give this a go? See what this is like. Might be too, too um, warm too much orangey in it i need to ease off the orange this might be a bit too light be 26. Uh, that's better though but it's a bit light maybe a mixture of the two so this is the part where i'm deciding on my palette i've got a range of unison and sennelier actually in some art spectrum soft I'm going to use this actually but in here this is the grey hmm, what's this colour here we have a warm grey which I think would be good as well Just to create some of these roofs. Now, what is the main color? I don't want to use the Sennelier because I'm needing the tooth of the paper to give me a few layers. So I want to work with a slightly harder pastel. So it gives me lots of room to make mistakes. <laughs> Anyway, what is this little guy? I have no idea. It's come off. It's a unison of some sort. Mm, that's good. I'm working in between the windows. Um, I'm going to leave the windows clear. I've decided that's a good color yeah, I'm happy with that and then we can build it up you know get some more variation but for now as a base layer I am happy with this one I said I was gonna try the two different methods like the one where you work around the windows and another way where you don't where you just go in and then we'll come put the windows on top and we'll draw them on top so got to leave plenty of room I should say plenty of tooth is what I mean mm, it's a good color sorry you're like what color is that then if it's such a good color I don't know to be e something <laughs> it's as you can see it's um a pale tanny sort of color or I should say mid-tone sort of tan like so a yellowy brown if that helps you I like it I do I do I do for these little guys over here now we've got so I like that one this is a so I'm going to pull that out put this in my little tray there's the one guy you can't see it but I've put him in there
Right, let's move on with this brown, I mean dark grey. And, okay, so there, this is the roof of this house. I wonder, do we need to put, oh, look, I've left out the building. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to put this building in. So, I can see I've got this one, but I'm loving the sky so much, I think I'm going to leave this part, oops, sorry, I'm going to leave this part out, actually. Here's where we got some lines. You can see the side of this building. I'm going to come over with a nice purple because this is a shadow. But for now, let's just leave it. Um, oh, what's going on there? Okay, now goes where's my sepia pencil? And let's sketch this roof all the way along. Okay, these are I don't know what you call a part of the chimneys. Okay, okay, chimney. Oh dear, this is my cube action needs to come. My cube skills need to come in here. Let's. Uh, oh, I can. You can actually see the tiles. So I'm trying to decide. I think I will keep in the shape of this window. And then build the tiles around there. I think I've done the window too big, but that's okay. Just carry on, love, carry on. You can actually see, even these tiles are slanting because of perspective, but let's just get them in like that. And same for the other side. And this window and sitting with this one. It's all dark. All right, and then the lines across. All right, and this is banister. Oh. See, so this is wrong here. Um, that is the awning of the daily. And this is the side of the building. But this, if you look on the photograph, There's a balcony, but this needs to be much higher. This needs to be a whole step higher. So these in my painting are sitting down here, but that's okay. So let's just work with the painting. So this will be roof back here too, till it becomes this banister. Okay. okay, I guess we can fill in the details just now. Let's carry on with the roof. What? So this roof has got a little bit more brown in it. So I'm going to take, this is a nice dark brown. It's art spectrum. One of the round pastels and I have no idea what the name is. It's a little piece. I should have 
the label somewhere, but I've lost it. It's not with my other things. Sorry, it's like I would call it if you were painting like a Van Dyke brown. You know, it's it's a good brown with a slight warm meaning, so red or orange tinge to it. Okay, because this, this roof's a bit more browner than the others. Okay, so there's my brownie parts. Let's go back to this unison and fill in the other parts. We'll do all the, I'll come back in and do the dark eaves and everything. Let's just get some pastel fold on this paper. Okay. I'm happy with the way it's going so far. It's a far more painterly approach. Um, and so, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Right, I need a little bit of variation though in this building. Again, I'm just picking up all little pieces of unison. This is a bit darker as you can see and this color has more sort of yellow in it but that's fine because we'll come down with um, other colors and then I'll grab a gray. This is a Jackson's warm gray and just add a bit of that. Um, I'm not even at this stage looking at the reference photo too much. I'm just seeing where I can add a bit of this in the stone. So all the windows look very, very dark. I think I'll I think let's first just finish um, the actual board. This is too light, I think. Yeah, let's finish the actual building. What about this little piece here? Yeah. No, the little area of this one seems to be lighter in certain parts right and then there's white around all of these buildings um, the idea with this is to make it look a bit weathered um, I'm just putting in different browns, all, I guess you could say, on the tan side of brown. All browns that are mid-tone with lots of yellows um, in them. Gosh, it's just so irritating for me. I don't know how to fix the colour. But on screen, the color um, is looking so much more washed out. It's, it's much brighter in real life. Um, right now, it's looking so insipid. And I'm like, oh, I want to show you guys. It it's, um, is beautiful, um, the sky. I'm talking about the colors. So interesting and stunning. But it's not coming out. This is a little piece of Sennelier and I know it's looking really messy but I'm hoping when I get these little windows in that it will start to look a bit more polished. Not, like I said I'm not going for perfection I'm wanting it to look a little bit quirky 
it's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, do, do I? Do I? Do I? Maybe I do. Okay. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this color, but why not, eh? Uh, hang on. Door, door, door. Okay, fine. Oh, sorry, I had to uh, let myself know what's going on there. Okay. Yes. Let's go back here. I'm going to take this color again. Bit of dark in there, I think. This is from Sennelier's. So, for shadows, I've got my blue violets, and I want to use those. I'm looking at the base of this building. And I'm deciding if it's enough for me to now go in and put in the windows. Mm, or oh, I might actually do the windows very last, I think. Right, so here then you've got a little bit of a wall thing going on here. You can't see too much. And then we've got a another wall, another fall. So let's take that grey again. It's definitely sloping and I've definitely made it straight so I've got to try to wrap my head around there. Let's get a straight line in here. So this is a wall. And it's got windows here, another little window and a little blue door. I think I will draw these in for my brain. Um, right, so we've got a blue door here. And we've got another door here. Okay. You don't want this right underneath here. It's going to look a bit odd. So you know what? I'm going to put oops, this blue door there. Then we've got a window. And again, I don't want it right under here. There's a window and there's a window, longer one here. Window, window. Then we've got a road. Okay, so then this is a ledge. Pavement, I suppose, shall we say. Hope, oh. Hoping this does end up making sense. I really, really do. Um, here we've got a pole thing and there it turns and so this is all road we've got our little steps this actually goes all the way and this is heavily in shadow okay now this is darker, so let's go in with this color, green gray. Mm, shall we? Shall we see what it's like? So there's 
where you can actually see that it has bricks. I don't know if I want to do the bricks. That's, this is a good colour though. But there are bricks. So maybe I should like that. Alright, let's try to do that all the way across. Oh. You can definitely say in this painting I have used the photo definitely as a reference rather than copying from it but as you can see I'm on tangent doing my own vibes here I kind of like these little steps I think um, I think it adds interest and then I guess got to get what's behind there before we carry on with these little steps so what is behind there okay got a dark light here and then there's some coloring here too and here there's dark See, it's got a bit of this grey here. It's also a bit on that little doodah. This chimney is very thin, I got there. Okay, now round about this area is actually really got a lot of soot and. Stuff. Sit from the road on there. I'm just now finding pieces. Okay, I've got my boxes out, as I said, um, of unison, and I have just um, got these out. Gone over the windows I drew in. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, honestly, what am I like? What's the point if I'm going? Okay, pastel still going on top quite nicely. Oh, and I've made that window. No, it's okay, I suppose. I made it right under that door. I may change it. And it's just like a box vibe going on there. I don't know what that is. Okay, now let's lighten up in some areas. So I'm going to take the same one I used for the buildings up above there. And I'm going to scuffle some of that in. Seem to be a little lighter. And I'm hoping that there's enough tooth for me to come back over and put in those bricks because I think that was quite cute. Actually, this door is too oh, on the floor. Still on the floor. Oh, and I need you, pastel. Yeah, 
it's quite um, tricky doing it so dinky. But um, the reason I'm wanting it so dinky is that um, I guess it won't take as much time. And I can see if I enjoy the subject. You know, if I'm going to do a big painting, I feel like I have to commit um, to the subject that I may not want to. I may not enjoy it. But so far, so this is a little bit of Grey 35 from Unison. But so far, I am enjoying it. And that's a little piece of Grey 8. Actually, let's get this curvy thing going on here. And I like the yellow doodah. Am I going to put in those yellow doodahs? I don't know what they are. Right, back to my cool grey. Mm. Yeah, there's a little bit of variation we need to put in here again. And then we can go in with more traditional grey grey greys. So, who's good for that? That's this little piece of shrapnel, oh, too blue. Um, Mount Vision is good for that. Everything in the Sennelier boxes is too colorful grays. Mm, but maybe for interest, shall we? Let's add a bit of interest. Hmm, how am I gonna do that? How am I going to add interest to the tar? That is my question. Not by adding brown. <laughs> Definitely not by adding brown. Okay, so this, sorry, I'm just looking here. I don't know what this line is. I've drawn the bike. This is all too high. Look at that. If you're thinking, oh, look, there's the road. This is all too high. So she needs to come down. Mr. Bike needs to come down. And she needs to come down. And I guess she's looking at foodies. There we go, that's better. This is another little door. It's cute, so I'm going to keep that in there. Right, so this is the edge of the curb. Don't put the edge of the curb right into your corner. I've, I've lifted it up a little bit because that makes your eye lead off there, and it's weird. So don't do it. Um, Right, I need to get, what's going to talk to the sky without talking to the sky? You know, like obviously tar is not going to reflect the sky the same way water will. You know, so it would be a bit odd. I'm going to add a bit of this here. Because I want to see what it does. So this is grey 8 in unison. Okay. Okay, let's just go straight over these wheels actually. Now it's going to be darker. Here, I'm just trying to add a bit of... And it's all light. Yes, it's also concrete -y. vibes over there. 